die. Plans have changed. We are not leaving on Wednesday. We are leaving tomorrow because it's supposed to rain on Wednesday, so we want to try and get out there before the hills get too muddy. So we're getting pretty busy tonight. We're all really busy because tomorrow morning, unexpectedly, we are leaving to the mountains and we do not have everything packed and we have a lot to pack. Here's all our tack ready to go. What do we have here? Ah, Mr. Courageous. You're keeping dry from the rain. Hi, Simon. Hi. What are you going to do for us now? Show you what I all packed for the mountain trip. Slippers, socks, underwear, a knife, matches and Vaseline starter, and some extra Vaseline, Leatherman, flint and steel, knife, Gerber, few lights, and always have electrical tape, toothbrush, extra clip, and this goes on the line. The handle for the light. Tell us a little bit about your Vaseline. It's the best fire starter, isn't it? Yeah. Vaseline with cotton, cotton balls. balls. Regular Vaseline and then get some cotton. Cotton balls work the best. Coat it really good in Vaseline. And then, and then you put a match to it and it bursts up in flame and burns pretty well burns for quite a while. Like a minute to, to two. Perfect fire which, starter. Which gives you time to put your stuff on it. And what I have for containers is bulletproof. Bulletproof containers to pack all of your gear. Here's some MREs, meals ready to eat. This is what the army gets for survival if they need. So this is in case you get caught in a rainstorm or a snowstorm or something and you need a meal ready to eat. And then I have my pajamas and an extra pair of clothes. Jeans and a shirt. Uh, little shirt. And I need an extra shirt, pajama shirt. That's a good idea. Thanks for showing us how to pack for the mountain, Simon. That was great. Yep, bye. Bye. Hi, Brooke. Hello. We had a lovely rain, hey? We sure did. And it sure is pretty right now. Yes. And look at this. God has sent his beautiful promise again. Promise that he will never again flood the entire earth with water. I'm spying on Amberlynn. She's taking a video of it. Hi! Hi! <laughs> nope, I am not going down there. The goldfish might eat me. <laughs> the hascups have been ripening. We've been enjoying them. Very unique fruit. Forecast for today looks clear. We are almost all packed. Brienne is with Janessa and Charles and they're trimming and shoeing the horses that we're bringing and also getting some other kind of rental horses. And we're just finishing up packing here at home and we'll be heading out after lunch. So, Simon, you jump up there and help me real Yes, we are bringing goats. <laughs> Ida has to stay home for her puppies. Good girl. Welcome. 
Welcome to the trailer. We are full. Can't forget the instruments. And underneath the bed are more boots and four big watermelons. have changed a little bit and we are not going to camp at that camping spot we are moving up the road to a different camping spot where we will have fresh running Torrens River water this is the place that we've chosen to camp well not quite right here I'll show you where what a beautiful camping spot we are going to put up the wall tent and Brianne's gonna take the horses out of the trailer with Janessa's help. Amber, let's go find a tent location. That is the tent. Hi, Papa. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I do. We're trying to put a fly on. On the wall tent roof. And there's a little piece of canvas up there. We're trying to get that it's over top. And it's not going. <laughs> it's frustrating. It's very frustrating. So we're going to go inside and try what we did before. I think I can see the scowl in Scarlett's face. She is not impressed. Camp is basically all set up. The trailer and the kind of the hub of the of the camp will be there. Hi everyone! Lovely camp we have here. It smells good, Mum. How are you doing, Dad? Oh, we did awesome today. Mm -hmm. Tent is up. You girls did a fabulous job. Nice drive in. Dry yep. roads, pretty much. Mm -hmm. By two lakes, it was a little rough and muddy, but now we're here for a week. Wonderful. Feeling the peace already. Smoke follows beauty. Better believe it. Oh, look at the banana boat. <laughs> We're going to enjoy some chili and bread. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful day and a safe trip out. We ask your blessing at our table tonight and thank you for the food and the hands that prepared it and that we would just rest peacefully in you. We love you and in your Father's name we give thanks and pray. Amen. Amen. Look at this spread! Carrots, fresh goat cheese. That's Colby and smoked Gouda. 
quinoa. To toasted quinoa. How did you make toasted quinoa? You toasted it. <laughs> toasted it when it was still dry. Oh, interesting. And then I added the boiling water. And warmed buttered sourdough bread made yesterday by Lene. And chili that Brienne made. Yum, yum, yum. We are hungry. We have not had a decent meal since breakfast, basically. Everything's done in the tent. I think even all of our beds are made. The stove is even going. Look at that. The horses are grazing. Goats have settled down. They're enjoying the grass. And they are milked out. And Brooklyn has made hot chocolate with the fresh goat milk. We are enjoying your hot chocolate, Brooke. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Is it warm or hot? Mr. Potts is sitting on some rocks right by the fire. We love Mr. Potts. He has already grown very, very close to our hearts. Right, Julia? Yeah. It even serves as a table. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks, you too. Sign said, 40 miles to Canada, my truck tore across Montana. Ian Tyson sang a lonesome lullaby. And so I cranked up the radio, cause there's just a little more to go before I cross the border at that sweet grass sign. I'm Alberta bound, this piece of heaven that I found Rocky mountains and black fertile ground Everything I need beneath that big blue sky It doesn't matter where I go This place will always be my home Yeah, I've been Alberta bound for all my life And I'll be Alberta bound till I die They're readying to head off for their first leisurely ride. Sergeant's the black guy. That guy over there is Marshall. And this white guy is... It's like a priest. Ah, what's this other white guy's name, Lenny? The chaplain. 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 He's a chaplain. I said priest. <laughs> They say there's rain coming for about five days, but it's been all over the place. Looks beautiful right now, although you never know in the mountains. Hey Charles, Hi. who are you riding? Hank. Otherwise known as Hank the Tank. Who are you riding, Gooey? Sergeant. Sergeant. Janessa, who are you riding? Marshall. 
And Brienne's riding Phantom. And that is Squanto. He gets left behind with Chaplin over there. These horses have not been rode for a long time. And we have the job of getting them into shape. There's a spot that is dear to the heart of old cowboys who once rode the Broncos. Darn hard to tame a hit in the saddle at the first streaks of daylight. Singing a song of old Alberta Plain. So while they're going on a ride, Sarah, Simon, Lene, and I came to look at this beautiful view. On a bright sunny hillside, I sit there a dreaming. Those good old days on old Alberta Plain. The low of the cattle. Okay, everyone, what are you guys eating? I can't what hear you. you. Oh. <laughs> I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That's better. <laughs> Let's see this stuff. Dig him, dig him. That's a chunk of butter, and it's yeah, real good. Almost got that on the side. I know, but I was watching. <laughs> we eat cookie dough, not cookies. <laughs> The rain is beginning. Clouds are rolling in and the drip drops are starting to fall. The rain is settled in. We are all ready for a week of rain. Mr. Potts is full and all of our water jugs are full just in case the river gets muddy and we have lots of firewood stocked up, animals are fed and watered and everything is dry and under cover. So yeehaw! We've gone camping in the rain before so <laughs> we're ready. <laughs> Hi everyone! We ready for the rain? Yep. Here. Well, as prepared as we're gonna be. <laughs> that is what appears to be Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn the Hoboite. <laughs> we are all ready for bed. I'm sleeping there. Brooke's on top. Brianne's on the top of that bunk. And Janessa. Hey, Jenny, can you wave? And Charles. He's the guard dog. Right yes. at the foot of the entrance of the tent. Julia! Oh, hi! Best wave. <laughs> oh, Lene is you writing in her journal. I guess I shouldn't look. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. This is day two done. Hi Brooke. Hi. Can you share what your favorite parts about today was? One of my favorite parts was sitting here in the entrance of the tent and listening to dad talk and share his heart with us and our prayer together. It was special with the rain coming down on the roof, pitter patter, and the warm stove crackling. That was my favorite part for sure. Okay, thanks. Okay. Hi Jenny. Hi. Can you share one of your favorite parts um, of today? Riding the horses and breakfast and eating cookie dough tonight. Oh yeah, that, that was, was fun. very fun. What horses did you all ride? Hank. The tank and Marshall, the marshmallow. <laughs> and the mar and yeah, both very fat. <laughs> both very so it is raining would it, outside. Would it fall down? We just yeah, finished breakfast takes... figuring out the stove. <laughs> gonna have Bible study. Brooks out straining the milk. What are we gonna read, Dad? Proverbs 12. Alright. Snowing. And put some out to graze if they'll stay out there. It's a very drizzly morning this morning. We've had a lot of sleet. Hi, Julie and Charles. Hi, Sarah and Simon. Hi. Charles, tell us what's happening today so far. Staying undercover as much as what we are able to and having a good time, I guess, and relaxing. <laughs> Snowing up on top of Horn Ridge and other neighboring mountains. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord that we got everything set up before the rain and snow set in. Here's inside our tack shack. Everything's keeping nice and dry. Hi, Lene. Today is day three out here at Kakwa. 
The rain settled in last night and we've been chilled by sleet, snow, and rain. We're all just staying low, keeping the fires going, staying warm. Ready, girls? On. You guys just Hi. lost all your enthusiasm. Hi. Right this when the camera so, came out. We don't lose our it's enthusiasm. so good. Hey, it's so you, good. You, guys, you guys you guys can the best, ask best you know when lunch. The... Tapioca pudding with popcorn and lunch. We're enjoying a very tasty lunch of tapioca pudding made with fresh goat milk with cinnamon so and we have a variety of utensils, bowls and cups. Brooke has like a cookie scoop. <laughs> we are low on spoons and forks Lene out here, so, so most of us have plastic spoons. And then Lene has a spatula. <laughs> anyway, we're really enjoying this lunch. Necessity yeah, lots of spoons of and spatula. Right. This cookie dough is the best cookie dough. And we're come on. Made with farm fresh eggs. And fresh ground. Oh, I'm sure they will. Craisins and organic raisins. <laughs> organic cane sugar <laughs> Pink Himalayan salt. Organic oatmeal. Butter. That's not organic. Organic coconut oil. And let's just eat the cookie dough. I think that's all. <laughs> Dad doesn't like this stuff because once he starts eating it, he he can't he can't stop. Yes, I can. Come on, let's have some. I can if I want to. Amber, Amber, do it. <laughs> Amber, don't do that. <laughs> she doesn't show fire. <laughs> she doesn't show fire. She doesn't show fire. That's really good.